Hello, my beautiful souls. How y'all doing and stuff? I hope everybody's well. Um, me personally, I have uh, like a viral infection or something. So I've been sick for like a week. And it's just when I thought it was going away, it came back strong. You can hear it in my voice. Um, but anyway, um, when I was at my local Dollar Twenty Five store, I saw these stickers, the ones you see in the back right here with my nutcracker. Uh, remember Lisa Frank? And she used to do all these beautiful, colorful, it was always animals, usually, like 99% of the time was animals. She did do, I see one person there, but, you know, they were colorful and positive um, and happy. As a matter of fact, um, I was in the croc store Black Friday. It was the week of Black Friday, or Black Friday, or either way. Um, and they had Lisa Frank Crocs. I, almost, y'all. They were on clearance, but, um, uh, I didn't, almost, though. <laughs> it just made me think of, like, I was a teenager back then. You know, a little bit more innocent time. Um, when we used to have our uh, futures mapped out, right? Who we were going to marry, whoever we were crushed on that week. Um, how many kids, what their names were going to be. Um, you know, and remember we used to have catalogs that you would look in. And uh, and it was always like, oh, if I could pick one thing out here, this is what I would get for my house. And, you know, cutesy. Uh, teenage, tween, teenage stuff. So there was this game, A-E-I-O-U. Um, and then you would do one, two, three, four, five. So you would see how many vowels were in your name and where, whoever you were crushing on their name. Um, and then you would write underneath where you see one, two, three, four, five, how many match. Like we both have an A, we both have an I, whatever the case. Um, and it would mean something if it was doubles or triple. I don't know. I don't remember too much. <laughs> I remember the end result, but... So I want to play A E I O U because it's remind me of like an innocent time. I want to have some new fresh energy. You know, I'm hoping that new fresh energy will come through. Um, Cause we're gonna talk about loves, y'all. Everybody loves loves. Everybody loves to be loves. You know what I mean? Um, and with these cutie stickers and stuff, you know, a fun innocent like a page of cups type. You know what I mean? Genuine. Almost a naivety to it, which makes it even the more beautiful. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I'm using the Buffy the Vampire Slayer tarot deck. And, of course, we start out with the Ten of Stakes. And that's the Ten of Wands, which is the end of a cycle. You know, closing the end of a cycle. And in this case, you know, I feel wrestling with yourself here, fighting with yourself here, um, letting go of things that are toxic to you, you know, things that are unhealthy, people that are unhealthy, situations where your boundaries are crossed, um, where these people just are low vibing, you know, um, just not resonating with you anymore, and you're letting them go, them go, those situations go, ending a cycle, it's time to move on here, but boldly, you know, with courage, okay, so let's get a little bit of a background story, um, let's see what's going on here. The two of stakes, okay? Because at one point, you were at a crossroad, you know. And I feel it's because as patterns of behavior that you don't even recognize are repeating themselves, you're constantly in a state of wondering, you know, why you are pretty much unhappy. So there's always a drastic change. There's some type of plan to make some type of drastic change, Um but things don't happen drastically, you know, that are in, within your control. If somebody or some situation um, happens beyond your control, nothing you can do about that. But for what you can control, you just start off by making a plan, something small, um, towards something bigger. All right, what else here? Yeah, the towards the ten of chalices, happiness, beautiful emotional fulfillment. There is a lack. Of emotional fulfillment here. And this is more than likely a pattern. Okay. Something that here. With the ten of stakes you've recognized done. You know. You are slaying those demons. Okay. Um, and going forward. This is what you want. A healthy. Happy. Loving relationship. Baby. With the emperor. I mean. Hello. And. When you are vibing hyper, higher, hyper, <laughs> Ooh, who is hyper? Anyway, <laughs> um, you will attract higher. You definitely will. All right, so there's the backstory. You know, I'm over it. 
I'm ready for something new. And if you, as you let go of the old, you usher in the new. So let's see. What's going to, you know, more than likely be going on here? In love. We're asking that specifically. What's going on? All right. We have the sense of seven of pentacles, okay? And that's investing in yourself. Self-care, self-love, investing in yourself, um, recognizing the toxic, making that plan to move away from and move toward something healthier. Also, though, investing in other people. The seven of stakes, having the courage to fight alone if you have to. You know, the courage to face yourself, to slay those demons, to invest in yourself. Become the best version of yourself so that you can bring that to the table. Nobody asking you to bring it to the table. That's all I'm bringing, boo. The best version of me. Because I don't need anything else from you. Right? Well, I want you around. I'd like to have your companionship. Do I need it? No. It's not necessary. I got me. And honestly, that's all I need. What else here? The devil. Yeah. Getting rid of any type of toxic behaviors and or addictions. Looking at yourself here. Where do I create some of this unhealthiness in relationships? Looking back and reflecting upon, you know, how can I be better? All right, so we got that already. You really doing it. I'm very proud of you, y'all. Healing. Healing. And I love that. Here we go. Bang. The Six of Chalices. That's a soulmate card, y'all. Here we go. Bang. The Ace of Sides. That's the Ace of Swords, y'all. Here we go. Bang. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. Recognizing a truth that you are not going to accept less. Okay? Don't come at me with a page. But also, not hardening your heart um, based upon previous situations. Knowing your worth. But remaining, you know, a kind-hearted, innocent, beautiful uh, person um, that gives that type of love. But is now ready to also receive that type of love that they give. So let's get a different doubt because we've got to talk about now a possible person. What's going on? Somebody's healing y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. My collective. You know, you're manifesting. You're calling it in. You know, you are going to get exactly what it is that you all want, that you want. Know your worth. Treat yourself right here. Refuse and resist temptation because it's always going to be there. The devil's going to try you always. You know what I mean? Um, and when that time may come, perhaps, that's when you start looking back on it. When you did invest in this type of energy, when you did invest in this type of people, when you did invest in those type of activities, where to get you? Okay, let's get a lover oracle card. And just get it jumping. Okay. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And we saw that already here. That's what the card looks like. It's so beautiful. We saw that already here. With the seven of stakes being clarified by the ace of sides or swords. You know, take accountability for your actions in relationships you've been in. You know, and for their maybe demise and or unhealthy ways. What else here? Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. This is what I'm talking about here. Confidence, knowing who you are, being true and genuine, 
is always attractive. Everybody can smell it on you. You probably uh, <laughs> um, have people interested in you you don't even know. Um, because confidence is, is sexy. Confidence is admired. Okay? But it's also to those who are insecure. You know, it triggers them. So don't feel that just because your confidence triggers somebody else, make sure when that happens, you recognize that's what's happening. And don't take things personally. Um, people do not know how to be genuine. They don't. They really don't. Um, let's, I wanted to use these round playing cards. So, okay. You are on fire right now. Right? Passion. We're talking about wands energy. We're talking about fire, y'all. You are on fire, loving yourself, and it shows. Doing you, taking care of yourself, um, investing in yourself, knowing your worth, it shows. Just remember, um, you are not complicit, you know, or you are, I don't know if that was the correct word, so let's use a different one, okay? <laughs> don't forget that it takes two, okay? Look what I have here. Boom. The Jack of Hearts. The King of Hearts. Ooh, baby. I mean, you asking about love. That's what we was doing anyway, right? The Ace of Diamonds. And the Seven of Clubs, which is the Seven of Stakes here, which we had. That's courage. All right? There is somebody around you that is going to get the courage to talk to you, tell you how they feel. They want to offer you something here with the Ace of Pentacles. It's something stable. It's something real. This person ain't playing. Okay, this person was a jack. Now they're the king. All right, they have emotionally matured from the last time. I believe this is somebody you know. But it doesn't have to be someone you've had a relationship with. This is just someone that has evolved in their emotional maturity who else is this person yeah they may have been a player at one point but they're very passionate but they may have been that doesn't mean they have to have been but maybe in their jack face or their night face um they were somewhat of a player and sought out pleasures but they're just very passionate about you and they look at you as a wish fulfillment because you represent to them um, somebody that is perfect for them. Well, who is this person? Okay, there was some type of an ending here. And with the six, we have now the six of chalices twice. Okay, yeah. This is somebody you know that you are no longer with. There was an end. There may have been betrayal. Um, definitely with the six of hearts twice. This person uh, you may have thought was a soulmate, may be a soulmate. Um, they want to come back and have a reunion with you and tell you that they love you. You know, and that's going to resonate different for everyone because it's going to be a different person for everyone. <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> yeah. So due to your evolution, you know, you handling your business and doing you, you've shown this person um it's okay to be that way because they may very well have also been stuck in their own toxicities. But they're going from a jack to a king. They're coming to you with two aces. You know, I wish y'all the best. I mean, use your discernment like I always say. Let's get one more card. Okay. There's three jacks out here now. This, what had happened here, you're going to find out the truth about whatever this betrayal was. And you can trust it. This person's coming to you with truth. Um, and you can trust what they say. But always use your own discernment and free will is a thing, y'all. All right? I love y'all. I hope this helps someone, resonated with someone. If it did, please let me know in the comments. A-E-I-O-U, y'all.